today's update to Counter-Strike 2 added Italy, and if you guys haven't seen it already, it looks fantastic. In the meantime, they've actually made a couple of silent updates that they didn't mention in the patch notes on Overpass and Nuke, and I want to go ahead and quickly show you them. Now, there's a couple of things that happen that are really obvious upon first glance. As you can see, one of the biggest things is that they actually re-added this window here, because before you were able to hide behind here, and this was just a door, so it was like, you know you know you could just hide there but now this is a window again so you'll be able to see people hiding behind the door which is a fantastic change obviously we like that the second thing that they did was that they actually lowered this uh wall here so you can jump spot to see short again because previously you wouldn't be able to do that now i couldn't find an old twitch clip of me trying before but basically what would happen is when you would try to do it you would only see like this much right here when you were like oh i can't see anything i can't see anything but they lowered it and i actually have a before and after by the way what it looks like now you can obviously see they did they did something i don't know exactly what they did but they did do something because here's a screenshot of what it looked like on release i really can't pinpoint it down somebody like three clicks philip i'm sure can make a video about it that will show the old map compared to the new one uh, i don't know how to do that though so that's it and speaking of three clicks philip they've actually added a couple of changes that are directly because of him and the first one is is that they actually uh, have made it so you can stand on this pallet now so thank god and the next thing is is that they've actually re-added the music here which i already made a youtube short about Let's fucking go. They added clipping to the top of this ladder, which uh, Three Clicks Philip wanted it really badly, and they also made it so that you can jump on top of this here forklift and save. Now, you guys obviously don't care about this stuff because you guys want to see the big changes. Austin, what did they change that you wanted to tell us so badly about? Well, there's been a lot of smaller changes, but there's been one pretty noticeably big change that's happened, and it's actually this change in towards Playground. And when I come in here, you might notice right away that the, the slide, the, the thing that used to be here is no longer here. Like, you can't see anything. It's just a completely flat wall. If you guys are confused, here's a clip of my first reaction to seeing Playground. Oh, a rock wall? No way. You can surf the... Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! I can surf the sea long. As you can see, that's no longer there, which means I guess you could just jump spot to see long. So it's basically like it was before, but it does look a little bit odd now. Um, the other thing that they did because of three clicks fill up again is they fixed the clipping on the sandbox here. So you can actually just directly walk on top of this without getting stuck like this. And uh, obviously that's very nice. And of course, the last thing that they added to three clicks fill up is you can stand on this sink now. Oh man, praise Gaben. On Nuke, there's one change that I can see that's very clear. If you come in T spawn, you're going to notice that there's a box on the truck now. Big deal, right? Well, actually, it kind of is because you can now jump on top of the truck. That means you can come up here now. And uh, obviously, there's a couple of really cool angles that you could do. You can obviously hold for outside pushes from up here. You can hold for lobby pushes, you know, any of that. Um, even, maybe even some potential smoke lineups from back here. I mean, we'll see what happens, right? That doesn't really change too much, obviously. It's just a small little change that got me excited to see. Obviously, you could still do this in CSGO. You just needed to get boosted on top of this box by a teammate. But now you can do it by yourself, which is always nice. And as far as Nuke goes, that's pretty much everything that's changed. Um, obviously, we saw some stuff like this added when the map came out, but I haven't seen anything else on it so far. Obviously, the biggest talking point of the new CS2 update is now that Italy is in the game. We actually got another update to Smokes, and Valve actually posted a GIF talking about how Smokes were before this update, and you could very clearly see that they weren't that good because they were kind of bleeding a little bit and they were really easy to see. You could jump over all the Smokes, but they've been changed for this update, and now they're very, very similar to how CSGO Smokes used to be. As you can see, they're nice and round, and on Honestly, they kind of do have the same shape as CS Go Smokes, and so it's a very good step in the right direction. Obviously, they still do that thing where they curve in and to fit the, uh, you know, the area around them, so you won't have to worry about stuff like that. It's still the same thing. It's just CS2 Smokes now have the CS Go shape by default, and they kind of move around from there. Other than that, I'm very happy with the way that Italy looks. It's a very pretty map. I've actually never played this map before. This is my first time ever seeing it because I am a CS Zoomer, but I do like the map quite a bit, and I'm going to be playing it on my streams at twitch.tv. Awesome. Yeah, so make sure you guys come stop by. We just hit 40,000 followers on Twitch, and I'd love to see you guys there. They've also added some more of these really annoying lights, and I still don't know why they're doing this. Like, Valve, I really don't like these shadows. Like, look, you can add a light like this one right here. Perfectly good light, and look, it doesn't give me a shadow. But as soon as I come in here, there's an absolute spotlight. I really don't like this approach. Another thing that's changed about Ancient is that actually the spawns have been moved back on T side, and they've been moved forward on CT side. These are now the spawns on T side, which means that all the instant house smokes that we were throwing before will no longer work and we will have to make new lineups but also the spawns on the ct side have been moved forward so if we move over here you could see that instead of spawning along this back wall now we're spawning up closer and they did change the formation so there's not as much blocking heading towards mid and b site uh, but this is very clearly a change to the spawns 
And since T's have been pushed back and C's T's have been pushed forward, this pretty much will restore the balance of how the map was played before. So I actually think this is a very big change, and I didn't see anybody talking about this when I saw all the changes made to Ancient, which uh, I think is a pretty big deal because it's going to change up things a lot. And of course, another one of the small things they fixed, you can uh, no longer jump on here now, which is a big W. Um, they re-added the self-boost after I posted about it on Twitter that the self-boost was removed. Other than that, Ancient did not receive any changes the, other than the spawn change and the uh, the self-boost being re-added. looks absolutely the exact same. Now, I went around looking on Vertigo for any changes that I could find, and I genuinely couldn't find any. But what I could find was actually a really subtle hint that we might not have caught when this map was released. Now, you guys may have noticed that we've gotten to playtest every competitive map in the pool. For example, they switched Anubis and Ancient out uh, bi-weekly and we were able to test those we obviously were able to test mirage we were able to test overpass but when vertigo got added we were not able to queue this map competitively now i don't want to jump to any conclusions but i feel like that's really odd considering we tested the other competitive maps which means that it actually might be true that vertigo might get switched out of the map pool and i am a little bit interested to see how that goes but you know we'll have to see how it goes in the future um but yes vertigo remains untouched i have not seen a single change to this map so far there wasn't really any changes to mirage but there was one change because of the smoke update and i think you you already know where this is going now whenever we were to smoke bottom connector for the one way to top mid we are able to see nothing or at least we can see just enough to make you think that you should be able to see something but you actually can't see anything at all and i think that this is probably the way that valve intended for it to be but uh yeah you can obviously still shoot to see and i haven't really confirmed this but i feel like now when i shoot the edges of smokes i can see a lot more i don't know if there's anybody that can confirm or if uh or deny but i feel like when i shoot the edges of smoke i could see a lot now along with italy being added again they have actually removed the ability to queue competitive because there's no 5v5 bomb explosion map in the game and this is actually the first time this has happened in the cs2 limited test and the reason is is well i don't really know but i have a theory now you guys are gonna have to hold on with me here now it's been dug out through data mining that they're adding a new version of cs competitive you know the premier mode that's already in the game they're making it a little bit better and it's going to have leaderboards and there's a bunch of exciting stuff you'll be able to compete in everything now today it was actually leaked that they're planning on doing mr12 going forward in csgo now if you don't know what mr12 is basically what it is is it's the way the valorant is where it's the first to 13 rounds instead of getting to 16 which would shorten the length of the games and i think that that's actually not a bad change all things considered they're working on implementing this into the game right now i do believe and i think that might be the reason why we can't queue competitive right now because i think they're going to roll out some sort of version of mr12 in the next update that we get for cs2 and it could even be the open beta where we can test the new leaderboards out because it was also shown that there will be a beta test in the cs season sync that they're adding so not to be too hopeful not to be full copium um but I do actually think that we might get to test MR12 in the next update of the beta, and that would be very exciting. And uh, yeah, if you guys are excited, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below. MR12 would be very interesting. I actually think that MR12 wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. They said that they would remove short competitive matches as well. And I actually know a lot of people who play the game casually that only queue short matches because they think that committing to a long match of MR15 is way too long because those matches could take up to an hour sometimes. And honestly, who can blame them? People who play casually don't really want to sit down for a potentially an hour, and it's just not really in their best interest so they will queue a short match instead and valve knows this so they probably want to get the casual player base to play the game competitively but they don't want them to have to commit too much time which is why mr12 actually makes perfect sense going forward as a competitive player i actually don't want it to switch to mr12 i think that that would have a lot of negative impact on the current competitive scene but i am open to see what it would look like if we were able to actually try it out but you know we'll see what happens i think valve has a good idea of where the game is heading if mr12 does end up getting added to the game you know we'll be there for it but uh you know me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm willing to see what Valve are cooking up because at the end of the day, they are the ones in charge and they've typically always led us in the right direction. So if you guys are excited for the future, make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite thing is from today's video and what you're looking forward to in the future. And make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. You guys already watch all my videos anyway, so you guys might as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Much love as always. And uh, yeah, peace.